Excuse me, do you know where gate B5 is? <sighs> Fine, don't help, thanks. Oh, I barely made it to the airport, I hate rushing. A ride dropped me off late, I gotta get through security, I'm never gonna get to my flight. This airport is so big, how am I gonna navigate through here? Oh, rush, 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 that's all I'm ever doing. There's got to be a better way. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Tech Connect video and in this video we are going to be talking indoor navigation and specifically good maps. Corey, are you excited? I am very excited. So am I, because I have no idea how it's going to go, even though we already recorded the footage. I'm going to guess good. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, indoor navigation, Corey, it's been a, a hot topic uh, amongst people with vision loss for a little bit now, and there have been a number of solutions that have uh, kind of come forward and tried to stake a claim. Corey, tell us about some of the solutions. Well, yeah, I mean, before I jump into that, I just want to mention, like, GPS has been around for a really long time, and there's great options for outdoor, right? And you almost down to like feet accuracy, but indoor is where we've had really not a lot going on and that a lot of times is really the hard part. And so there are a few, as you mentioned, we've got uh, using beacons. Yes. So for those that aren't aware, uh, I think Apple really led the charge kind of with beacons and basically they're little physical devices that you put around areas and then your phone picks them up usually via uh, low energy Bluetooth or Bluetooth LE. Uh, Wi-Fi is another way that they've tried to do indoor mapping, mm -hmm. uh, and I think that is not great. It's not super good accurate. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think you can get down to a real close kind of accurate place. You know. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then there's also the Seeing AI app, and they're using their kind of world channel and the way that they're using indoor navigation. Which we did a video on. We did. Yes. Yeah, so and it worked it out pretty well. Yeah. But I think in those cases. Uh, obviously, with the seeing AI, and you'll see in the video that you have to kind of pre-record the route. Yeah, plus and so. I'm pretty sure I kept on telling you there was a refrigerator anyway. <laughs> and a suitcase. And a suitcase. But it's really geared more for small areas. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also like a version of QR codes. I think NaviLens uses it where the camera of your device is scanning for actual kind of codes mm. to get information. Yes, but uh, Good Maps is kind of different in the way that they're approaching things. So uh, the way that Good Maps are doing things is they are actually coming into a building and scanning the building to basically get a scan of the floor layout. And when you open the map, then the app that you uh, are using is comparing where you are with the visual images that it got when they did the scan of the floor space. Yeah. And from that, it's a able to tell where you are and then able to guide you to the location that you want to go to. Yeah, it was pretty cool. When we were in CSUN, we got to see, we, we met, uh, there was a presentation with, with Mike May uh, and JJ, and they kind of talked about good maps. And, and you're right, they come in with a handheld LiDAR scanner and basically walk through the whole uh, business or whatever building they're doing. Right. And then all those images, those scans get uh, uploaded. And then what's cool for the business is there's then a back end where you can go in and name each of those rooms. Yeah. So even though the scan is done once, if you, as long as you don't do any like crazy construction, but maybe you just move offices, you can go in and rename all of those different offices. So you still get to update it. And it was pretty crazy to see how the camera would scan around and just by scanning and then kind of comparing that to the images it had, it was able to identify where you were in this entire building. Yeah. And then from there, you're able to pick out or choose kind of uh, destinations you want to travel to. And again, as you're traveling, the camera's constantly scanning and giving you updates so it'll tell you you know, in 50 feet turn right, you know, destinations coming up ahead, all the kind of typical navigation prompts you, you, you're you used to with, with outdoor GPS. Yeah, totally, yeah. So, I mean, Corey, we could sit here and continue to talk about it. Okay, let's do that. So one of the things <laughs> I, I, <think> getting... <laughs> I have another suggestion. Oh, okay. How about we watch some footage that we took? When we were at CSUN, they had scanned uh, at least the ground floor level and uh, maybe a couple of other levels of the hotel. Yeah. And so we got to try it out. So why don't we jump over and take a look at how it went. Let's do it. Whew. I made it. I'm on a plane. 
not my original plane or original flight, but at least I'm on a plane heading to California and that's all that really matters. Attention passengers, we will be making an unexpected detour to Iceland and we ask you remain seated for the full 16 hour flight. Thank what? you. Flight attendant. Oh my gosh, I really hope there's a fitness center at the hotel. I am definitely gonna need to work out and stretch my legs after this flight. All right, so we have chosen the fitness center. The first thing we need to do though is let Good Maps figure out where we are. And the way we're gonna do that is lift our phone up. We're gonna spin around and it's gonna continue kind of searching our environment till it makes that match. And then it'll start and give us direction. So I'll lift my phone up. Raise phone. Okay, we're gonna spin. Basic repeat instruction. Rotate right. Good, so it found where we were. It tells me to rotate, rotate right. right, so I will. Rotate right. Go straight. All right, gives me directions to go straight. Let's get our cane going and let's get moving. Continue 70 feet. Okay, we're gonna follow the instructions. Continue 40 feet, then slide left. Approaching slide left. All right. Turn left, then take immediate right. Okay. Last turn. Recalculating route. No, we'll stop for a moment while it's recalculating. Continue 20 feet to destination. Okay, good. You have arrived near fitness center. Good, so we know we're here. Now, the interesting thing we can do once we know we're here, then we can find it if we, uh, if we want on our own. But on the screen here, we also have two buttons we can choose. One is to connect directly with Be My Eyes and one is for Seeing AI to sort of help us with that last maybe two, five steps uh, trying to find the exact door. So I'm gonna connect to Be My Eyes just to confirm I'm where I wanna be. be my eyes. There we go. Button launch alert. Explore wants to open Be My Eyes. Yeah, we'll allow it to do that. Button. Be my eyes. Call a volunteer. Button. And I'll go ahead and tap. I'm just going to spin around so that I'm pointing back where it should be. And right now it's coming through the earpiece speaker, so it might be a little harder to hear. It's calling a volunteer as we speak, though. Connected. And call can connect. It. Hello, can you hear me? Just wanted to make sure that we are at the fitness center. Yep. Perfect. Thank you very much. This indoor navigation's really got a future, at least I think so, and I'm I'm gonna go out on my own. I've created an LLC already, and it came up with a, uh, just what I think is a, a great name. I'm going with Better Maps. Better Maps. Are you sure about that name? Yeah, think about it. Good Maps is good. Better Maps is better. I even got business cards fresh from the printer. Check that out. Hmm, very nice. Yeah, that's bone. That's Cillian Braille. Hmm. You ain't seen nothing yet though, Corey. If you think Better Maps is better, how about Bestest Maps? That's my new business. Take a look at this. Eggshell, Somalian type. Wow, impressive. Mm. There's even a tactile watermark. I'm done. Good Maps implementation of indoor navigation is pretty good. Obviously, compared to our seeing AI video, it uh, worked better. Well, in, in you say that, but it did not find us a refrigerator or a suitcase. So, That's in a way, true. it worked a lot. Less Although good. it didn't find them because there wasn't one, <laughs> so maybe it didn't. Small details, <laughs> gold. Didn't Small jump. details. Yeah, but I do think I, I I like what Good Maps is doing. I think that coming in and scanning a building with lidar works quite well. Uh, I was able to find that fitness center no problem. Mm -hmm. Having the uh, ability then for that last couple feet to ta uh, tap into to. Um, Yes, be my, eyes. be my <laughs> eyes, that's what I'm thinking of. Yep. Uh, that was really cool uh, as well. Yeah, yeah, I agree, it's a, it's a nice solution. You've got to wonder with these things, you know, whether 
whether uh, buildings, because obviously this was a hotel, right? So the hotel had to pay in order to do the scan. So, I mean, all of the application of this is going to depend on the willingness of uh, building owners or businesses to actually, you know, pay for it. It is. And I think yeah. one thing Good Maps mentioned during the, the speech that they gave was how they want to uh, open this up to the mainstream. I could see in airports how somebody could benefit sighted or not yeah. uh, from Good Maps technology getting through a really large, well, even a hotel, finding the fitness center and things like that. So maybe having live interactive maps like they're sort of doing. Yeah. Um, and, and, I, and you're right, I think that's the only way that it's really going to have saturation is if you make it um, make it worth the, the business's while to, to bring it in, have it come in and, and do it. Exactly, so hopefully they'll figure out a way to do that. I mean, it's definitely a lot less uh, labor intensive than some of the beacon solutions, which require a lot more upkeep and things like that. So I think it's got some yeah. some good potential for the future. Yeah, and I, you know, we got positive feedback. Our, our example worked out really well. Yeah. And there was uh, some good positive fees feedback at CSUN, but on the flip side, there were a few individuals that struggled with it. You know, it would tell them to walk 50 feet, turn around, walk 50 feet, turn around. Um, and again, I think that's gonna probably be there for, for a lot of options. Mm. Um, I thought, or you and I talked and thought maybe it was, you know, being super crowded, but uh, they addressed that during their, their talk and said, no, crowds, crowds don't really make a difference yeah. at all, so. They would say that though. That's very <laughs> true, that's very true. But again, uh, I think all in all, it's a, it's a darn good solution. Yeah, all right, so what do you guys all think of Good Maps or any other indoor navigation solutions? Uh, have you tried any of them out? And if so, what did you think to them? And do you generally have trouble in buildings or do you find it okay? Are you, are you happy to ask people for directions and things like that? Why don't you stick it in the comments down below? We love your comments and we also love it when you like and subscribe and ring the notification bell and all those YouTube things that people uh, generally do. So please do all of those things if you haven't done them already. And we are always open to talking in various different ways. The telephone is a talking device that was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Um, do we have uh, the yes. Wikipedia entry here? Uh, what uh, year was that? Oh, uh, it's uh, 18... Uh, <laughs> was that BC <laughs> or AD? <laughs> I believe that was BC. Okay, you're right. Uh, <laughs> um, so give us a call, 414 6 0103. You can, of course, send us an email. We are also invented people. by Alexander Graham. <laughs> I'm sure. Why not? Yeah. So, uh, techconnect at vision forward.org. And if you have heard of the internet, you will know what a website is. And our website is vision forward.org. So, make sure to come and visit and talk to us. We would love to hear from you. And also look forward to the next video in two weeks' time. We will see you then. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.